Hi everyone, this is Angela from angelasadultcoloring.com. Today I'm making a thank you card. Um, the base of the card, I love the base, it's a flip card. It is a YouTube video that I watched on cutting it out on the Brother Scan and Cut. So if you have a Brother Scan and Cut, you'll be able to make this card. So here's the video of me putting it together. It's not, I don't think it's a brilliant um card because there wasn't all I had in mind really was how it's going to look not the is it going to be birthday thank you get well whatever so I've decided to make it a thank you card but because of the way it is I just didn't know what to do for a pattern so I'm hoping what I've done oh, will end up looking nice why does something tell me I've done this the wrong way around? Does it go that way around? Yeah, there we go. It's not going on very straight. I will make it go on straight. <laughs> I'm going to use my ruler actually, I think, and I know that I've got my measurements just right because I did everything 0.2 of an inch. So if I do 0.2 of an inch. Then I know where to put it, so it's got to go about there, this way. As you can see, this is not something that I am brilliant at, but I do try my best. <coughs> I'm just going to go about there, there and there. I can't get it to go on straight at all. It just doesn't want to go where I want it to go. I want it to go about there to there. Perfect. It doesn't matter that it's got a crease in there because I have got another piece of paper going over the top of it so that it won't be seen at all. This time, I'm going to do a pencil mark the one corner and then I know where it's got to go. <laughs> so once again, just sticky it up. This is that, I've got to say, I think this is my favourite tool. Right, so I know <coughs> where this one's got to go. It's got to go there. Just, I want to use this one for this because it's a bit small. And this is just for this half of inside, just so you know all the cards that kind of matches everywhere. And I thought this would be a good idea considering I had to cut this circle out anyway. I thought it'd be a good idea to use some of my scraps of paper that's left over. Oops. So that is going to be the inside and then as you can see it looks kind of nice like that. Um, First of all, I think I'll do this side, so we have another piece of red paper. Let's hope I can stick this one right. This one actually should be easier. I realised what my mistake was on the other one, so... That's gonna go. There. So as you can see, it's now starting to match up slightly. I 
I think a lot of people are probably finding these videos quite boring but I do want to do a video where I show everything including the cutting but I keep making I make too many mistakes so when I show my cutting I kind of let myself down a little bit because it's not brilliant so for now you'll just have to make do with me getting everything ready and you just see the card making hopefully I'll keep improving and you'll get to see more these are some these two things here I also made with the brother scan and cut and that is going to go in there and as you can plainly see I am absolutely rubbish with lining up so this is going to be fun and then this is just a free die cut that I got out of a magazine that says thank you which and it was only seeing how pretty that was that made me decide that this was going to be a thank you card I just went through all my drawers to see what I'd got to see what I could make the card and I thought that looked beautiful I have got another one out of a different magazine which is beautiful but it was just too big for this project so I'm gonna have to make a bigger card for that and I will use that one because I quite like that one as well so I'll stick all this together before I put it on my thing I hate having to stick little words but this is the uh, if anybody has any advice on what they do to stick these words please let me know because i this is the only way i can think of and as you can see it's not the bestest of way and you get some of the print stick gets at the front and i, I don't like that but i don't know any other way when it's a word like that so if you're watching this video and you know how to do that please let me know because it will be much appreciated now if all this card messes up i have to say this bit is my favorite bit i think that looks really nice so i really like that bit i think because of how small it is think i'll stick with using print stick on the back of this one and the best thing about using print stick for stuff like this as well is if you don't line it up properly like I never do print stick still allows you to move it around a bit so and there we are uh, was that it yeah that was it that is my thank you card how nice and easy was that and I like it and then obviously you can write there or there um, simple not easy to put together because i'm rubbish at measuring but otherwise i think that is a really lovely card i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you please stick in with me on the fact that i'm not brilliant at all this and i really want to get better but uh if you've watched thank you for watching